Hey, what's up, you guys? So, it's November 25th. Now, originally, right now, I was supposed to be announcing and making a big announcement that I got my first lease. I'm going back home. And I should be flying back home today. But you see, I got this good opportunity, job opportunity, seasonal job opportunity that is quite beneficial for me. So I'm staying out here just a bit longer. So I'll be out here until December 20th. And originally today I was supposed to be starting a new life journey out there in my first and new own, own apartment. Um, but that's basically it right now, you know. And I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be vlogging from here on out every single day. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vlog, right? I mean, while I get back home, I'm gonna vlog throughout the week and post the vlogs uh, sometime. Uh, I'm gonna post it on Thursday. No, 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 Friday after Thanksgiving. Put it up there on YouTube. Yeah, probably post it up on TikTok and all that just because I see I'm, I'm getting a little bit of engagement there as well. So, yes. Um, and I'm supposed to be out there the week uh, or supposedly I'll be out there today and a couple of days from today I'm supposed to be doing a show out there uh, but that's not gonna happen because I'm out here <laughs> so a lot of things are changing uh, that means I'm going back to performing I'm working of course I have my own place um, and this is the journey of how I get my first car I buy my first car um, and I come out of my full debt because I mean I'm still in some debt you know not a lot um, it's just that I'm doing payments original payments on that no lies here no more lying uh, I am not the person that I portrayed a while back that's not me this is me you know I got problems with everyone else I also got debts and I wasn't a negative I was in a really bad place uh, and I think I also want to continue the stories as I've been doing lately uh, just you know doing a little bit of like here and there posting the stories uh, I think it all makes sense in the end uh, I think it's a, it's a cool story I'm telling uh, I know it's all over the place and it's kind of weird it doesn't really make much sense but uh, I want to continue writing my book and maybe when I finish writing my book it'll make more sense um, but first, I want to make sure that the case is over with. I want to make sure I'm over with all this crap so then I can release my book and then I could do everything else that I'm trying to do because I want to make sure that me and this fucking case is part of that victory of me celebrating with the book. Um, but yeah, you know, that's that. Uh, what else? So I'll probably be vlogging while I'm working and shit. <laughs> You know, just a little bit of clips because, you know, it's a job, so I can't really goof around. And it's the guy is paying me, so I'm not going to do that to him either, you know. Um, I take my job very serious. Any job and every job I've ever had, I never goof around. No, I play around. No, I like to do that. I like to take myself and my job very serious. Um, what else? I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of Thanksgiving and just a little bit of here and there about my life. But after, once I get home... We vlog every single day, we vlog every single day, every single damn day. Um, so the struggles, the ups and the downs, I don't know exactly what I'm about to put myself through. <laughs> but there's one thing I know. I came back out here, I was a full day and negative, so I had nowhere to go, I had nothing, and I was down bad, like I was really bad. And uh, day by day, I got out of it, and uh, I'm here today, you know. I am not gonna say that, hey, well, I did tell my kids say I'm okay. It's just basically I got something that I'm paying off little by little just because it's beneficial to me uh, at the moment. Because now I have a whole shit ton of more responsibilities and I have to be more responsible, calculated, and I have to make sure I do things the right way, you know? Um, but yeah, let's let's see what happens. Let's see what, where we go with the music stuff. Let's see where we go with... Oh yeah, this is the journey also, how I buy my first fourplex, my first building, or my first house. Depending where we start off, you know, uh, my first car, my first floor flex, my first apartment, my first time moving out to a whole different state. We're moving out to Minneapolis. Well, I'm moving out to Minneapolis. Uh, so it's a, it's a whole new life journey. I'm going to be able to be myself, express myself freely. 
because here I can because I have parents and I have family who don't allow me to express myself because they think I'm being arrogant and I'm being an asshole just because I want to dress differently meaning suits and you know a little bit too extravagant for them because they do come from a little uh, country in Mexico in a little fucking town where if anyone feels anything better or anything like that well they become intimidated and it's not just them you know I love them to I love them to death but hey I need to be able to express myself but it's not just them it's also other family members and I can't be around it you know I can't be around toxic environment um, I need to be able to express myself as my therapist has uh, told me and so has someone special in my life um, and there's someone special in my in my life is out there so I'm gonna try to work things out with her out there too see what happens with that I don't know what's gonna happen probably she doesn't even want to see me but hey it is what it is if that's the case then I'm gonna to have to take the hit on the chin you know but this is gonna be a fucking roller coaster but it's a roller coaster I I basically know what I'm getting in my, I'm getting myself into you know so Let's see where we go from there. And uh, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. I'm about to head the fuck out to work. The the season, well, the series will continue um, up to the point where I get this job. And uh, maybe I do a little bit of a give back to every single person that gave me an opportunity as soon as I got back out here. Just to show gratitude and a thank you to them. Maybe I show a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get out there with you guys and go pick up my apartment keys. Um, and it was hard for me to get an apartment because I was in so much credit card debt, credit debt, and no apartment complex wanted to give me an apartment. And so I had to, oh, you know, work and with the money I was given from the whole case thing, uh, meaning uh, payments and stuff like that because I wasn't able to work at the time. I was able to, you know, pay off a lot of that debt back uh, with a combination of both. And uh, I was able to save a credit card, one of my credit cards, uh, and able to fucking, uh, what's it called, get myself back on my feet and get that apartment. So it was a lot of work. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Starting a journey. I believe I've been living the same type of lifestyle for many years now. It's here in the city, which I hate it. New York. I love New York, but I need to get the fuck out of here. This is no longer my home. Um, uh, Minneapolis is home. So, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. I'm gonna end here. Just say, buckle the fuck up. It's gonna, but it's about to get fucking bumpy and it's gonna be a fucking bumpy road because I don't know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. I just know exactly what I want and, uh, I'll let God lead the way, uh, and let's go from there. God before everything, man. Blessings. See ya.